This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.6.2. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to use the new duplicate media detection feature to indicate where you're using the same clip or the same media more than once in a project. Another new feature is duplicate media checking. Now, this is a feature that was in Final Cut 7. It now shows up in Final Cut 10. If you use the same clip more than once, there's now a way to find out what clips are being duplicated. You open up the project you want to look at, go up to the View menu, and go down to Show Duplicate Ranges. And notice this hash mark that appears right here and there. The hash mark is all footage which is duplicated. But so far, although this shows the duplicate footage, it doesn't say which clip is being duplicated. That's where the timeline index comes in. If you click this downward pointing chevron right here and select show clips with duplicate ranges, it now puts hashes on clips that are duplicated. If you click a clip, notice that this one down here is also blue. It says the, the frames that first appeared in this clip also appear down here. Or the frames in this clip also appear down here. Or the frames in this clip also appear down here. And you can click on these different clips and notice when you do, the cursor will jump to the clip directly in the timeline. When we're dealing with digital footage, really checking duplicate media doesn't make a whole lot of difference because we have as many copies of the master as we need. This began back in the days of film where there was only one film negative and you could only use it once without having to make a copy of it which automatically degraded quality. So for film, this is a critically important step. I'm less worried about using duplicate shots in B-roll. In fact, after looking at many YouTube videos, I'm convinced they run the same shot 17 or 18 times in a row. <laughs> Which I guess may be an editorial comment. Anyway, for B-roll, I'm less interested. But for interviews, I want to make sure that I'm not repeating an answer or repeating a question when I don't want to. So this is a very useful feature. By the way, when this is turned on, by clicking down here and selecting the duplicate. It also toggles on the view menu. So notice how that's off. Now when I go to show clips, not only does it display the duplicates here, but it also toggles the display in the timeline. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10.6.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 334. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and when we update it, our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership.